What's going on, people? It is I, it is me, DSP, your friendly neighborhood media personality, and you're now tapped into another installment of Hoop Haven Quickies. Please be sure to hit that like button no matter what platform you're on, whether it's IG, TikTok, and YouTube. And of course, give us a follow, subscribe. We truly appreciate it. But uh, let's talk about the great news surrounding South Sudan and their national basketball team. Um, I don't want to get into the history of how South Sudan became a country. You could always Google that and do the research yourself. This isn't a historic geography channel. This is a basketball channel. And let's talk about South Sudan, the youngest country in the Olympics, to win its very first uh, Olympic game. And on top of that, Africa hasn't won a national game, I guess, in basketball in about 20 years. So for South Sudan to pull this off, this is amazing for a young country in Africa. And it's amazing for a lot of the players, right? Some of these players probably couldn't get an opportunity to make it to a professional level or probably can't play professionally, but just within the country. Some of them are so talented. They should possibly make it to the NBA. I know one of them will be playing for Duke College. Um, so that's going to, I mean, Duke University, forgive me, Duke University. He'll be playing for Duke University. And um, that's him, Cooper Flag, and all those other guys that they got going on there. So it's good to see him play at this level. Um, and, and not, I wouldn't say he's dominating, but he is making a mark. And he's extremely young. So it's a beautiful thing to see. Uh, his, his last name is Malak. I don't know how to say his uh, first name, so I don't want to butcher it. But I mean, look. I was watching a lot of these guys in the BAL season four. That's the uh, African league that the NBA is uh, collaborating with uh, FIBA to get together over there. Um, I, I believe they had their championship in uh, Rwanda. And I think one of the players on the championship team is also playing for South Sudan. But don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. I know three of the players that played for three different teams on the, in the BAL league season four is, is playing for South Sudan. And um, I got to talk about Luol Dang, man. I got to give him his flowers. I got to let people know the type of things that he's doing, right? Many of y'all know Luol Dang play f for playing in the NBA for several years. You know what I mean? I believe he was an all-star a few times, even made the all-NBA teams and all-defensive teams. Um, I think I might have to do an underappreciated for Luol Dang, so be on the lookout for that. But the man is coming out of his own pockets, to get this team to where they are. That right there within itself is an amazing story. There should be a documentary about the, Su the South Sudanese team. There should definitely be a doc. And if there is a doc be that's in production right now, I am ready to watch.